Before we begin, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this with anyone who you think needs to hear this message. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member, and you will get access to weekly Q&As and the exclusive CoffeeCast podcast, where we'll answer those questions. Now that we've had that out of the way, let's begin. Yes. Hello. There we go. I am on the road, as you might know, and I don't have my mic arm with me, but I'm doing well. How is everybody? Um, I pray to God that all of this works and works well, because the internet connection isn't the greatest, but uh, let's just hope it's good enough so that Red Evening can still go on. And of course, the Truthcast, which is the best podcast in the world. Even better than Minecraft streams by some Canadian who plays Tekken for pennies and doesn't even reach the real man club because he's five foot seven or something. What's his name? Rian? Rian Brick? <laughs> Just kidding. How's everybody doing? I'm doing well. So... What is this Truthcast going to be about? Well, as you might know, I am away from the regular place, which means I don't have access to my faithful squat rack, which I'll get back to later on, by the way. So now what? Well, take it day by day, which is which what this cast is about as well. Because yesterday in the... Yesterday in the um, Discord, Business Travel said something very interesting. He mentioned that most guys are focused on the goal instead of the daily process. And I was like, God damn, that is so relevant during squatting. So Business Travel, if you're watching, thanks. Um, The day-by-day activities is what makes you reach that end goal which comes back to what i've always been saying about arbitrary numbers why do i hate arbitrary numbers because they're nothing more than some goal that you struggle for but can't reach instead of focusing on the day-to-day habits and the day-to-day activities which i have been saying for a long time now how do you reach a 225 bench well You start with 100, then you go to 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, etc., etc., etc. Don't fix if it ain't broken. But stop focusing on the end goal and focus more on the process, which is what I'm doing right now as well, since I don't have my faithful squat rack. What am I doing? Well, what is my goal for fitness right now? is not to gain weight, even is to lose a little bit. Now, luckily, uh, this is not for you guys to try out, by the way. If you don't have experience with fasting, whatever, I do have. What I'm doing now is I have implemented 48-hour fasts plus one meal a day, which will be one meal every two days. I've done this before. It works for me. I maintain strength, whatever. I feel good when I do it. So there's nothing wrong there. Of course, my water intake is on point with the minerals in it. But those are the steps I have taken for now to at least reduce the possibility of weight gain. Now, what will I do to maintain muscle mass? Well, since I don't have my trusty squat rack or a bar or the plates... And I will get back to that in a bit, by the way. The far from home section. (laughs) We're going to have cameos by all the multiverses. (laughs) Just kidding. But um, I have implemented uh, Drew Bay's high intensity training. Now, what is high intensity training? It is one set till failure. But the reps are controlled to the utmost point of control. One rep takes about 10 seconds it is so slow i usually take two breaths two deep breaths per rep try that with a resistance band on your triceps and you will just feel the burn like slowly like this so one two three four five 
six, seven. I don't even care. I usually do breaths. Then I extend it to the fullest. And then I go back. One. And I keep it there a bit. You have to make sure that with the resistance band, the tension is still on there. And then you go back up. So there are a few pauses in there on top where you fully extend the arm and here where it's not necessarily rest but you wait before you go again and that's why you want the resistance band you want to have you want to grip the resistance band at a point where even in the concentric part so when you haven't extended it that's called concentric concentric you still have some tension on the band those are a great version for bicep curls by the way the cable bicep curl and that's when you stand with your back to the, the machine so you are curling away from the device so to say if you have a handle you can do it if you have a bar you have to put it between your legs i told um john fox about this who is in my monthly consultation group which i have two spots for by the way if you want personal training by me these are the last two spots. After this, it is just done. Hey, Captain. Good to see you. You know what? Let's go to the chat real quick. John Watts, of course. Of course. You've got something to mention to me. Early. Aren't you happy to see me, John? Aren't you happy? Oh, he is. The most important man on the internet. Yes, I am more important than Aaron Clary. Didn't you know that? Nicholas Sinard, good to see you. Be missing your stuff on Twitter. Funny you should mention that. I've been actually missing Twitter since I'm here. Weirdly enough. But it's more like I'm, I'm every now and then I get a sporadic thought. I was like, oh, that would be so nice to tweet. Oh, shit. I can't get back on Twitter. Now Elon is probably backing out of the deal for Twitter. It's like, what's going on here? But I thought about uh, appealing again to the suspension where it's like, oh, mate. Come on, let's let's see if this can uh, be arranged. But yeah, I have been missing Twitter a bit. But good to see you here, by the way. Uh... <laughs> Not gonna lie, sounds like the 48 hour fast is just now being able to afford groceries. Well, this is why I need more members. Pay my groceries. No, um, it has a different reason. It has a different reason as well. And that is because of the cut of meat. At one grocery store, you have 700 grams divided into two steaks. And then you have another grocery store who has 700 grams as one steak. And I hate cutting up steaks. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to do a one meal. The only problem I had was today, I had my one meal in 48 hours, and I had 12 eggs. And after that, like during the meal, I was kind of like, okay, maybe this was a bit too much. Maybe. Like 700 grams of meat, 12 eggs, 12 eggs and four slices of bacon. It's like, mm, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty full. Maybe, maybe I should reduce the eggs a bit. Shouldn't you reduce the meat? No, how dare you? Heresy. Hush. Hey, Tempest is here. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Jack is Napeth. Horden Jarbringer. Hordy Jordy. Good to see you, sir. Has Clary paid you yet? Yes, Clary has paid me all around. All already. He has already paid me. No, it's not about that. It's just pure. Because for me, eating is kind of a hassle every now and then where it's like, oh, God, I need to stop in my tracks and eat and blah, blah, blah. So the longer I can extend that, the better. And especially since I'm not at home and with all the groceries and I don't want to share refrigerators too often. I just went for the 48 route and I can easily do it. Plus, it's good for to keep the weight off kind of thing. Depends, by the way, on how big my meals are. Maybe my meals are too big and I still get too much calories in and then I'll get fat. And then I have to find another joke for the YouTube membership where it's like, I pay my groceries. And then people will be like, well, it looks like you've got plenty of them. Hmm? 
what do you mean you need to pay groceries? It's like, hmm, hmm, you're bad enough. Got some good fat shaming over here. Hold on, laying down the mic. Nicholas brings up a good point. You realize how much time eating takes when you start eating more than once a day. Irritating as hell. I agree with you because when I eat, like after I'm done eating, I get I get lazy. Not lazy, but that. What's the word I'm looking for? Not as energetic. I have a bit of a dip, and that's why I like the one meal a day as well. Where I'd rather do it in the evening or when I'm like off for five hours, which yes tends to happen every now and then. And if I want to, could just take a nap. So yeah, we'll just do that. Forty-eight hours of fasting by Robert Greene. <laughs> Hour one. Never outshine your dessert. <laughs> Are we gonna do the forty-eight laws of power now in food? Uh, trust more. Trust more in appetizers than main courses. Law two. Rosie. Audi fan PK rosy. Well, it is very rosy. Alex is here. Jack is early today. Sub fellows. Yeah, I'm two hours early. Uh, two hours earlier than normal because, oh, I don't know actually. I was kind of like I don't know what's gonna happen during the day, but I know I have round this time off because we're sharing this place with other people, and I don't want to be in their way, and I don't want them to be in my way either. Because then, then that's when I get iffy. It's like, get out of my way. I'm a very important podcaster. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dante. I didn't see you there. Let's catch up soon. I'm glad you're settled in. I would like that, Dante. I would like that. Away from home, indeed. Yeah, we're, we're going to get the cameo soon. We're going to get the cameo soon. Like, Ryan is popping in from a portal, and then Rolo, and then Clary, Rob, Masculine Geek. We're going to have, like, end game here. The Truthcast endgame version. <laughs> no, but um, that is kind of what I'm going to do on a daily basis to reach that main goal of during my travels, not gaining weight and at least maintaining size, at least maintaining size, which I hope I'm able to. Otherwise, oh my God, I have to rebuild everything, which is part of the journey, I guess. But to my faithful squat rack, to get to that point. And what is the lesson here today? The lesson here today is, of course, you have a goal. And I've said that before. I think goals are stupid. Not per se. Take that with a grain of salt. What I mean by that is focus more on the habit you're creating so that you're going to reach that goal anyway because you've created a habit out of the behavior you need to perform to get to that goal. That's what you want. So goals aren't per se. Goals aren't per se stupid. You want something to work towards. In the long run, you want behavioral change. So that's the daily thing you need to watch for. What can I do today that benefits me in reaching that end goal so that I don't even have to watch the goal anymore because I've changed my behavior. And that's a process and it takes a while. But once you're there, wouldn't even notice. So, trusty squat rack. We're going to get philosophical here. There is a quote by Seneca, which I keep forgetting what it is, and I'm very annoyed by that. Uh, but the quote is about living in a situation of your greatest fear. So what he actually tells people is go live in poverty, just do it for a year, and you'll find out it ain't all that bad. Like Go towards your greatest fears, and you will find out there's nothing to fear. Now, 
I wouldn't say that right now I am living in my greatest fear ever because I'm not. The surroundings are absolutely beautiful, but I am sharing all of this with like 10 other people. It's like, oh God, humans. <laughs> Um, but I am away from the materials I've gotten so used to having, like my squat rack. And in being away from that and doing everything completely different than you normally do, you start kind of realizing what you really want because you're away from what you have. You're starting back at zero sort of say though i still have the laptop and everything so it's not really of zero but it's starting at a different point and then since i've been doing uh more writing as well a lot of reading too but writing as well you start figuring out what you really want and even though i like to live small things like that i did realize I want my bloody squat rack. I I am just like, God, if there's one thing I absolutely miss, it is being able to just walk over and get under the bar and start squatting. That is the only thing where I'm like, God damn, do I miss that? Wow. That was an absolute. That just came in handy. It's like, wow, hell. I really miss that. It's like, yeah. If I ever start moving or whatever, number one priority, get my squat rack. But Jack, don't you want to go to the gym? No, honestly, no. You know why? Because home gym master race, that's one. Two, if you have it at home, you don't have to wait for people. You don't have to schedule anything in or whatever. If you're of the 1099 home gym master race, combining this with Clary, you can work out whenever you want. And that is the, how do I phrase that? That is just the absolute greatness, absolute greatness of a squat rack at home. So of all my material possessions, that's what I really miss. Maybe because I have the laptop and things like that. But it's like, wow. Training has become so ingrained in my daily activity, semi-daily, every other day, that, oh, it was just, I was writing down today, like, okay, now that you're living more minimalistically, what are you really missing compared to when you're at home? The first thing was squat rack. But I am figuring out ways to still be training, not only with the resistance bands, but apparently they had, um, and I don't know how to translate this to English. They had bicycle stalls, but they were single bicycle stalls with a block of cement underneath them. And they had three. Well, I only needed two. So I was like, if I can get a giant thick stick or a metal bar, I could deadlift that. I needed to be on a bit of a platform. Otherwise, it would be um, platform deadlifts. Not deficit deadlifts, platform deadlifts. So I got one of the sticks and I tried it out. Now, I was able to do a couple of reps, but then the stick was kind of like, hey, buddy, we don't know you, and you don't know us, so uh, we're about to break here. Please don't. We just met. <laughs> it's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do that. So I asked my friend here, like, do you have a metal bar? He's like, oh, we could have something, because it's a big construction site as well here. So that will be interesting. At least then I can still deadlift. I mean, the push-ups and the squats, the shoulder presses, dips is possible they have a uh they have monkey bars here yeah they, they have two sets of monkey bars i saw that i was like nice this is awesome so i could perform dips pull-ups i had the uh, doorstep pull-up bar with me so that is possible as well and for you guys listening 
I hope I'm going to give you ideas for when you're going to travel. Because yes, training is possible everywhere. It is. There are no excuses. I want to train, but... But what? Please. Tell me. Because all I hear is excuses. And we're not here for excuses. Now with the deadlift with a... <clears throat> Deadlifting with a resistance band, ah, it's possible, but I just like deadlifting with weight. <laughs> it's like, I mean, deadlifting is one of the most manliest thing you, things you can do, and then you're going to do it with a rubber band. It's like, ah, come on, come on, can't we find a way? And then life finds a way. Life finds a way. Hold on. The damn... Uh... Headphones flipped off, shoved off. But yeah, no, deadlifting with a with a resistance band, it's possible. But if you can do it with weight, if you can do it with rocks, go with rocks. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I'm starting to become a bit innovative with weights where it's like, oh, okay, well, how can we do this? How can we possibly do this? And make it as effective as possible. So that's going to be very interesting. Back to the chat. Audi fan PK also set intermediate goals. Just an end goal gets demotivating, and it's very far. You are 100% right, sir. You are 100% right. That's why I keep saying do it for the daily process and look back on your own progression. What's the weekly goal? What's the weekly goal? Become better than last week. Be it in sets, reps, intensity, maybe even time under tension. Those are all possibilities. I am finding last week when I was still at home, I had 60 kilos on the bar, which for you Yanks is 135. Mind you, I have a deadlift capability of 315 times 5. I had 135 on that bar. 315 is 140 kilos. So 60 kilos I had now on the bar. And I took that 60 kilos. And I had the upward motion for 5 seconds. And the downward motion for 5 seconds. Just... A slow but steady straight line of reps. Five seconds up, five seconds down. Reset, five seconds up, five seconds down. I managed to put in six reps before I just was beat. I was just beat. Where it's like, holy shit, are you kidding? I can do 315 for five. Yet this, with this method... It's like kicking my ass after five reps. Yes. Yes, it was. So Drew is 100% right on that one. High intensity training works like hell. At least for um, exhausting you. I am now experimenting with it with the bands to see if I can maintain my muscle mass. My protein intake is fine, so there's no problem there. So let's see what happens. Two months. Two months. I expect to be back middle of July, somewhere around there. So we'll be fine. Back to the chat. Dante, you mean you overhead press and then drop to your shoulders every time you squat? Damn, no, I don't mean that. God damn you, Panda. There's a reason you're extinct. <laughs> this is how I want... Governor, of course. This is why I want a home arcade and home gym. Not having to wait on people? Perfect. Exactly. You should have a uh, Dance Dance Revolution at home. That would be pretty neat. Achieving minimalism means you still have some things, but those things are significant. Yes, they play to your needs, not to your wants. You're 100% right. ABT, always be training. Always be training. Yes, I 100% agree. Always be training. 
Rocks sounds like Jack's going to train for a strong man. Dude, I wish my former training partner would do that. He has the genetics of a strong man. He should definitely do that. But he's not doing it. I'm like, why? Like, he has the perfect physique for it as well. Although, he's a bit on the short side. Which, with range of motion, could be in his benefit. But with the stone... Piling could be a problem. Like the Atlas stones, so you have to put them on a platform. Then it could be a problem. So, oh well. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. Oh, um, where are you, sir? Nicholas, 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 Nicholas. I did get your question, and I will make a solo video on that. I will make a solo video on that, which I look forward to. How's the connection, by the the way am i coming in properly the internet every now and then is going a bit down and up but oh well all in all <clears throat> what i was trying to say with this particular truth cast number 50 already we're halfway to 100 yes good well that's an old cap so it has to be great i mean come on why else connection is fine good 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 so the um, message of this truth cast internet is better than in the Netherlands. I'm still in the Netherlands. I'm still in the Netherlands with the former bass player at his place. So the internet connection is home is so shitty. God damn it. Ow, Dante, that hurt. Ow. We just got a new modem there. Ow. Goddamn Philippines internet. How good is the Philippines internet then? <laughs> <laughs> Must be top notch. Although I did see this morning that the Netherlands is now a second world country for some odd reason because of the um, worker shortage. They can't find employees. It's like, oh, wow. And they closed some bridge in Rotterdam or whatever. It's like, yeah, the Netherlands is now a second world country. It's like, oh, wow. Europe, everybody. Western Europe with their new leadership. Going great. Ask Jesse how good the internet is. He might know. Oh, God damn you, Panda. God damn you. I walked right into that one. But the message of today's Truthcast is that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you can always train. And you shouldn't focus so much on the main goal, but on your daily activities, which creates a beneficial habit which will eventually make you reach your goals. Not only that, but it will make you able to surpass your goals because you've created a habit out of it, which is exactly what you want, which is what I always preach to my clients as well. And if you want to become a client of mine, you can get here to the monthly consultation group. I have two spots left. Or if you just want a solo one-on-one -on -one you can book me for a personal consultation here. Yeah. So, that is it. I don't have the mug with me. I don't have the mug with me. Truth the mug. You can get that here. And as it's looking right now, since this went good, Red Evening will be uh, going as planned. By the way, get your approaching skills in order. Approach her like Chad and text the A Mastery on audio, narrated by me, written by Troy Francis, and Carl, who left the Manosphere, unfortunately. His books will go on, narrated by me. You can get those here. That is it from me for today. Uh, Captain, Capitan, Kapow, get me those videos. Please, get me those videos. Get me the forum checks. Uh, guys, it's been great talking to you again. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Nicholas, thank you for your question. I will make a solo video of that. I will upload it on Thursday. Will I? Yeah, Thursday. It will be up on Thursday. So, guys, thanks again. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below your thoughts of this show. It really helps the algorithm. And if you want to support the channel, you can click there for the join button which will give you access to weekly Q&As, 
and the exclusive Coffee Cast podcast where we will answer those questions. Catch you all later. Cheers.